Hey guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel. So obviously Valentine's Day is this week, so I really wanted to do something Valentine's-ish. <laughs> I know I've had a couple of looks that kind of could lean a little bit more towards a Valentine's look or a date night for Valentine's, but I wanted to kind of go all in with some like reds and pinks. And I got this little guy in the mail this weekend. This is one of the new Zodiac pigments from the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collection. So you guys know if you've watched any of my other Zodiac related videos, I'm an Aries. This is the Aries shade. This one's called the Ram. I picked up three different shades. I picked up this one. I picked up the Bull and the Crabs, which was like the green one and the iridescent bluish purple one. Those were the three that really spoke to me and I thought they were really pretty. I didn't want to get the whole collection, but I really liked these. And honestly, I swatched this one yesterday um, for my Instagram and when I swatched it wet, because that's the thing with these pigments, you can do them dry or wet. When I swatched it wet, it was so beautiful. It has this really gorgeous golden shift in there. So I really just want to make this the star of the show, quite honestly, but I don't want to do just a one shadow look. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, but I figured this could kind of be the star, maybe all over the lid. And then I went through my collection looking for some reds that I would want to use, reds or pinkish reds. Um, and I've been really wanting to use from my Collective Cosmetics Moon Twin palette, this shade right here, which is Orbit. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got what looks like maybe some pink shimmers in it. I think it might complement the pigment really nicely. Um, and then also I have my Certify Destiny palette. This has some really pretty kind of reddish pinky tones in there. So yeah, I figured I would just play around with a look using some of these colors in the crease and then literally just throw this all over the lid because you guys wait till you see it when it's wet. It's stunning. And then I also picked up a new liquid lipstick. This is from the Hot Topic and Soraya Jade collaboration. This is the shade Sweet Soraya. It's just a beautiful red. Um, I did a video on this collab maybe a week or two, probably two weeks ago at this point. And I really, really liked the products, all of them, including the liquid lipsticks. And I did have um, Hot Cash or another coupon or something at Hot Topic. So I picked this up because this one, I really wanted this color. The other shade was really close to something I already had. So I decided not to get it, but I figure as long as it looks good when I'm done, I might pair this liquid lip and just literally go all out with like the red, reddish pink Valentine's look. So. <laughs> so yeah, let me figure out what I want to do and then I will show you guys what I came up with. To start off this look, I found that it was easy just to go straight in with the pigment but since I knew I was going to be putting it all over the lid and because I was using a wet brush. So I'm starting out with just this kind of fluffy flat brush and I'm going to spray it with setting spray and get the pigment on the brush and I'm going to put it all over the lid. All right, so you can see how gorgeous that is when it's wet. I mean, it just has so much gold reflect in it. It is stunning, I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna set this to the side for now. Um, I did find that I needed to kind of go back into it a little bit later on after I blended some colors in. So I'll show you guys when the time comes. So I'm just gonna give this a second to dry before I go in with any of the matte shades. So just give me a second. All right, so I'm using a kind of thick pencil brush. You could use this or maybe just a dense blending brush or even something like the brush I used originally that you could just buff sideways. So I've just got nothing on the brush right now. It's just stained. Um, I'm gonna start kind of working back and forth on the edge of that color to start blending it. I think it's probably got a little bit of this color left on it from the palette that I'm about to dip into. But you can see how beautiful these shades are, like literally just a one shot across the lid and that'd be plenty. So I'm going to go into the Certify Destiny palette first, and I'm going into the shade Sixth Sense. I know it looks like it's a reddish brown color, but it comes off the color I need it to. <laughs> You'll see. So I'm just using the same brush and I'm going to start kind of stamping and buffing that into the crease. So that color is down. It looks even with the other side. Now I'm just gonna take a small little blending brush and I'm gonna start just lightly going back and forth on these edges to blend them out even more. All right, that looks even with the other side. So I'm gonna stop there. Now I'm gonna jump into the Collective Cosmetics Moon Twin palette. And I'm gonna do a combination of two colors here. I'm gonna combo 
Orbit and Trist. And I'm just using this kind of rounded tip brush. So it's just very, it's very dense. So I can really pack the color on. But I'm literally just gonna kind of like swirl a little bit of this one, swirl a little bit of that one back and forth. And I'm just gonna stamp it right here on this outer portion of the eye, just to add a little bit of depth. And then I'm just gonna very lightly buff this out just a smidge. I'm not making this very elongated as you can see from over here. We'll say I'm keeping it a little rounded. That's good for now. I'm gonna end up connecting it underneath so I don't mind that it's got a little messy underneath there. So as you can see, when you start buffing colors over these pigments, I do feel like it takes away the shine. So I am gonna go back over that. I'm pretty much done with the upper lash line. So I'm switching to a smaller flat brush so I can be a bit more precise and detailed. And again, this one is wet and I'm going right back into that pigment and I'm just gonna kind of go over the lid once more, but really make sure it's crisp at the crease and along the edges. As you can see, I kept it very rounded. I mean, it's almost like doing a cut crease without going through the trouble of concealer first. So I'm just brushing away any of it that got on this little upper part. And that is it for the upper part of the lash line. So jumping down to the bottom, I'm still using the Collective Cosmetics palette and I'm using the shade Orbit. On a flat angle brush, I am gonna spray this with setting spray and I'm going to really thickly line that entire lower lash line. I'm kind of just connecting it out here. And then I'm dipping into the deeper shade, which was Trist right there. Um, and I'm just focusing this on the outer portion. Cause I noticed that once I added my liner to the top, it just needed a little something on the lower lash line. So I'm kind of darkening up just the outer part. And then with a pencil brush, I'm just gonna use the same shade we started out with, Sixth Sense, and just buff that underneath the shade. taking this little small blending brush. I already used it previously, so you can see a little bit of that pinky red shade on it. I'm literally just using this to really soften out the very bottom of that line. So last touch to finish off this look as far as the shadow goes is the inner corner highlight. So I decided to mix these two highlights right here. This is Sundial and Emblazoned from the Moon Twins palette. So it's kind of a pinky color and then a golden color. I just thought together they kind of really mirrored what was going on on the lid. So I'm starting with the pink color, stamping it and then bringing it up and under. So I've got a little bit of the gold highlight. I mean, this one, I love these highlights. They're just insanely glittery. I love it. And then I'm of course bringing it up. I really love the way that that looks on my eyes and things just because I have such large eyes, but like if when you recreate it, if you don't like the way it looks, then just stick with a little stamp of an inner corner highlight. I feel like you do need that brightness with a look, but of course you don't ever have to do exactly what I do. <laughs> All right, so that is it for the eyeshadow. As you can see, just kind of the difference between this eye and this eye, I feel like when you're doing this much red or this much of like a, you know, one all over color, you really need that black to kind of help ground it. You don't necessarily have to do lashes if you've got lashes that, you know, are nice and thick and stick up, but I definitely recommend a nice black wing and some black in the waterline. I actually was going to do the ColourPop Red Mascara. I put it on, but it just kind of blended in with the red eyeshadow, so it was pointless. <laughs> so I went black top and bottom. So I'm going to use this pretty vulgar gel liner just because going over a glitter, I find it doesn't work quite as well with my kind of ink felt tip liners. Um, so I'm going to do a wing, throw on some mascara, black in the waterline, and lashes, and we'll be done. I'll show most of this, but I'll kind of fast forward through it. For the waterline, I'm using my Lottie London AM to PM liner. And then for lashes, I'm doing the ColourPop Black Mascara. And to finish everything off, I'm adding House of Lashes Original Iconics. And that's the eyes done. Okay, so to finish up for lips, I really still wanna see if this red will work. We're just gonna try it, worst comes to worst, I can take it off. I am gonna line my lips first with this Sephora lip pencil, just, I think it's just the shade red. I really just prefer to use a lip liner when I'm using a darker liquid lipstick. Just 
just a simple outline. And then I'm gonna top it with this Soraya Jade lip color in the shade Sweet Soraya. It's a lot of S's. Okay, I really like this with the red lip. I was a little afraid it was gonna be too bold and bold together, you know, bold on bold. <laughs> I kind of wanted to go with a nude lip gloss, but I'm glad I kind of pushed myself. I've been trying to kind of use some more of my lip products a bit more and not be so nude on the lips. Um, and I'm really happy with the way this looks. I mean, especially, you know, for Valentine's Day, reds and pinks, it's, I think it's kind of like okay to go overboard. Just a quick little tip in case you've never worked with products like this before. Uh, you have to kind of be careful, otherwise you can make a mess really quickly. So it is just literally a jar and it's got a little protective cap on it, but that's it. So, you know, if you don't have this lid screwed on and you knock it over, it's going everywhere. Um, I do have like a little bit of powder on my desk in front of me just from when I was, you know, dipping my brush in. You can kind of like dip your brush in and like dip it into the cap if that's easier for you to work off of. That's usually what I do with some of my little indie brand shadows that I use. Those usually have sifters on them though, so I feel like it makes it a little bit more like easier to use and not make a mess. So just be careful with these, um, but I do think they're really beautiful and I can't wait to play around with the other two that I picked up. But I'm really happy with the way that this look turned out. It was definitely a lot of fun just trying out some new products and playing around with shades from palettes that I hadn't tried before. So I'm really happy with the end result. Definitely, you know, very Valentine's vibes. I definitely love it. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I'll have my next Throwback Thursday video coming out on Thursday. I haven't picked the palette yet, but I've got it narrowed down to two of the kind of more highly requested ones. So hopefully it'll be one that you guys are looking forward to. That's all I've got for you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.